welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those vlogs of Taiwan, but now new year, new video style. So I've actually recently been uh, reading a lot of books. I've actually already read like two books since we started the new year. So uh, I've really been trying to like take in as much knowledge as possible and I figure let's change it up and add something besides just vlogging and today we're going to talk about something that I learned about in a book and I've done a little bit more research on my own and I just kind of wanted to delve into it and just give you a short little tip I guess into how we're gonna change ourselves. So basically the story goes is I've always been, not always but since I started living abroad, I've been interested in improving myself, you know, getting away from the normal, you know, uh, and making myself a better person so I can change and improve my life as I get older instead of just staying the same. I feel like often people finish university, get a job, and then they kind of just slump and stay in that slump. And uh, they're unsure why they're not happy or why they don't feel fulfilled in their life. And I think a lot of it comes from these people not really pushing themselves, not having good habits, not taking care of them, uh, their health, not watching their money. And that's a whole different, there's a bunch of different videos we can make about that. But what I wanted to focus on today is something very simple. And it looks like this. Now, I'm not sure if you understand exactly what this is, but basically what it means is if you give just 1% over 365 days a year, you're gonna get 37.7 times more than, or 36, I guess, times more. I mean, you're talking about a return of thousands of times over. I don't know the math exactly, but basically the point is just do a little bit, change just a little bit, but be consistent. Consistency is way more important than anything else. This 1% rule will change your life in a very small way, but it will influence you. See, the first book I read, which I'll talk about in another video, but just to kind of glance over, really focused on compound interest in saving your money and investing it. Now, this will introduce huge returns the earlier you do it. You know, you can imagine if your money doubles every 10 years, then after 20 years, that initial investment will not just double, and then it'll double again from doubling. You see it compounds on top of itself, creating like this huge amount of money. Now, just like your money will compound, so will you with your habits. You know, let's say you sleep, you wanna wake up at five o'clock in the morning, but every day you wake up at 6.30, that's an hour and a half every day, but now you compound that over years and years, you're losing weeks of your life where you could have been doing things, right? It's that time like, okay, sure, 30 minutes, you know, 30 minutes in the gym doesn't seem like a long time or 30 minutes of exercise or whatever it is. But over time, that's gonna compound on itself and give you a lot longer life because you're healthier, right? So the focus is really on finding where you can make these small improvements because they will change your life in the long run. See, many people come into the new year thinking, oh, you know, I just gotta, I gotta like uproot my entire system and change it. The thing is you don't need to change your entire system. Maybe, maybe over time you want to, but if you look at just changing it all at once, it's gonna fail. Because as humans, we're, we're gonna choose the easy way out, which is of course just to keep doing what you're doing. So you gotta introduce these changes slightly, but you gotta be consistent with them every day, every week, every month, for as long as possible if you're trying to you know, change it. So how do we implement this 1% rule? See, that's the next question you need to ask yourself is, what does this mean? So for me, it means something. For you, it might mean something different. For me, it means just doing a little bit every day. It means I, I used to wait until the last minute and then, then record a video. But this video you're watching now, I recorded like a week ago. So I have time to record, to edit, to add in B-roll, to do everything because I started a little bit every day, right? Think about in school when you procrastinate, you know? But what if you put that 1% in, instead of putting all of your effort in at the end, what if you just spread it out, right? What if you just did a little bit every day? And that's the concept of it. I'm not saying, you know, oh, I wanna, I wanna get skinnier and be healthier. Well, you don't go to the gym for three hours on your first day because you're never gonna go back. You're gonna kill yourself and you're gonna quit. If you wanna eat healthier, don't go and just get a big huge bowl of veggies and try to eat that. Of course you're gonna hate it and you're gonna quit. If you want to improve your work, that doesn't mean go and work 15 hours a day. 
you know that's not gonna help you you know instead find small ways to improve yourself right I, I, I'm such a big believer of like continuously learning and continuously improving and remember your life is long people say life is short I say you have a long time so take your time to slowly build up these habits to slowly change yourself because over time you're not gonna remember these little things you're not gonna see them as these huge hurdles but you're gonna instead see them as these stepping stones that led you to where you are because remember your habits work both ways they can build you up over time but they can beat you down over time right not eating healthy when you're 20 or 30 won't really hurt you but by the time you reach 40 50 60 and your uh, your arteries get clogged then you're gonna be like well crap I wish I did something before I wish just a little bit different in the past so the time to make the change is now but the time the effort needed is not it's not insurmountable you need to put a little bit just a little bit over time will bring those changes you want so in conclusion remember that one percent will make all the difference in your life at least give it a shot pick one thing one skill one habit one something you want to play the guitar then go and get a guitar and start practicing even if it's for a few minutes a day get the hang of it you want to learn something new just give it a little bit just a little bit just start getting it build it into your system that you use every day and I promise you it's gonna bring you results because for me it started with just a little bit of books I got do audio books or I have physical books but whatever it is go and change that just a little bit at a time and you'll see huge results so anyways guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this change something really inside of me has decided like screw the numbers screw trying to get more subscribers I want to do what I want to do and these vlogs are fun but they're not the only thing I want to do I want to expand creatively and I've realized I really want to better myself and if in the process of bettering myself I can document and share what I've learned through experience or through reading or through speaking with people if I can influence and, and make an impression on you to change yourself and improve your life then that's what I want to do so expect these kinds of videos coming and I'm gonna keep doing and trying my best to not just make different kinds of content but also try to make it more cinematic I hope you enjoyed that anyways guys thanks for watching leave a like share with your friends if you found this inspiring and uh, I'll see you in the next one peace out guys